Hey guys, it's me, Rabbi Sam again, and I'm going to do a loadout review on the power classes, including scout. Well, you can count them as a power class, but he's mainly like to jump over people. Well, you know what I mean. Well, so scout, soldier, pyro, demo man, and heavy. These are mainly the support classes. I'm not doing what they're categorized in. So let's start with scout. Everything's on the default. Don't mind the hats. Um, so, the first one I think is one of the most practical is this pistol and the atomizer. The atomizer is really good for the extra jump because it's just so helpful. Second one's my jump set. So, if you do Force to Nature, Pretty Boy's Pocket Pistol for no fall damage and the extra health is good, and atomizer. The extra health can let you take like an extra jump without losing any of the scout's normal health. So he starts out with 15 plus and still have 5 extra, which still isn't that much though. The one after that would have to be... I don't have the the milkman set for the extra 25 health. Yeah, I don't have the hat I'm because I just recently traded it for something and I'm going to get it, so... Just this is a really good set for the extra health, and you can't do as much firepower with the short stop, but you can do a lot. You can help your team a lot with this, and the fact that you can extinguish your allies, and this gives you lots of health, and the for short stop has a, a faster reload, and this is just a reskin. The last one would have to be uh, baby faces blaster is good, but it's really not that good for just a normal scout the fact that jumping gets rid of your boost and you do a lot less damage but it's really good with uh, pan I guess by like Sandman and Criticola it's this is just like a fun set kind of like rocket jumper not the best but moving on to soldier I don't have much time so I'm gonna go through this guy a little bit quicker the first one would be Rocket launcher, shotgun, and escape plan because you can run really fast with it when you're hurt. The second one would be this uh, the battalion's backup ba black box. Just uh, the escape plan again, and the grenadier soft cap. This is a really good one if they have a sentry encampment, because 20% sentry, sentry jam, damage resistance on wearer. And with this gives you a 35% percent against in, of incoming damage. So if you add that together, that's 55% against sentries. That's almost that's a quarter of the damage taken away. Yeah. And then, or half, yeah. Half their damage, sorry about that. And then the next one would be Cow Mangler Righteous Spice. This one. Oh, let me just, sorry about that. No, don't mind the hats. Cow Mangler is a bad practical weapon, but it's really good if you use it right. It's not meant for the soldier who goes in. The five shot's really good, but the charge shot will really freak out an entire team if you shoot it right so you can freak them out and they'll like run away confused this is good because it's basically a shotgun all-in-one pellet but shotgun is better in some cases and this is good because it's like you scare them away with this shoot a few of these and come in with the painter and, and save the point or capture it the last one would be my rocket jumping set well, reserve shoot, shotgun, and then, sorry, I don't have market garner, but you use market garner. It's just a fun set. I'll just replace it with equalizer. Sorry, I don't have all the weapons I've been crafting and stuff. And so, just say this is market gardener. So you can rocket jump, market gardener, shotgun for the buildings, and that's soldier, pyro, my first one, would, this is just a fun, pra more practical set, because it's just like basically a normal pyro. 
he looked like he's in Pyroland. Or he is in Pyroland. It's funny with this one. And then the second one would be my combo move one. If you use all these combos right, you're a really good pyro. You can help your team a lot. The second one would be my offensive pyro. The Phlogistonator is a really good gun. Is really good flamethrower. The fact that you can't deflect is sad. The damage penalty isn't that bad, and the random no random critical hits isn't that bad either. And I'd use it with my flare gun because you do crits when they're burning. That's like 90 damage. And the power jack. Power jack gives you extra speed, which is really good. And since these have crits on them, I don't see the point in using a one of these. The extinguisher. And this is my defensive. Backburner is good because it has the crits, so you won't have to use the extinguisher. Power jack's good for the speed to get them from behind. But also, if there's engineers and spies, I think it's more practical to use your home wrecker. But let's just put power jack and a detonator to get a big group. There's then there's the demo man. I think this is a really good offensive demo man. Maybe Japan, Scottish Handshake, even the, uh, sorry, the explosive one he holds in his hand. I'm sorry, I forgot the name. And the second one would be the defensive one. I find that a defensive one is really useful. The loose cannon is really bad. It's good if you use it right because you hit them, it explodes in the same time. But you hit them and they get knocked back. You can push them away from the cart, the payload. This one is a really good sticky bomb launcher. If you prematurely set them down. It's not meant for like in mid-battle. And also, you don't want this because it's defensive. I'd say... Use a frying pan. Unless you a frying pan. Or this, if you're not going to be moving around a lot. So, But let's just put it on frying pan for now. This is a... More like... Just kind of like fun set if you do the splendid screen it's a little bit more on the fun side and this and then this is another demo night set or, yeah loose cannon and Persian persuader because you can charge faster and the loose cannon you can knock away pyros when you don't have a charge or heavies or something like that and then we're on our last class, Heavy. Now, I think the first one is the most practical for all these sets. So I would say the minigun. The sandwich for medics, teammates, and yourself. And gloves of urgently running. Because you can get up to the battlefield quick with no... If they don't have any teleporters. If they, don't, if they do have no teleporters... Maybe killing gloves of boxing, warriors, or spirit. Or, yeah. Or maybe just the default fist or frying fist are kind of better because they can do the uh, taunt kill. But let's put it on gloves of urgently running. The second one is more of a, say you're by a dispenser with engineers and sentries. This is a better one because you can slow them down to, to help the sentries get there. You can do this to heal the engineers. or But actually, they'll already have their dispenser, so sorry about that. But use the family business. Family business is basically like an upgrade to the shotgun. It is bad in some ways, but I also find it mainly to be good on my part. And the next one probably be... Since there's spies or someone attacking, you don't want to use fist, fist of steel are good, but you don't want this longer weapon switch. Probably just gloves are urgently running, let's say that. There's the, here's one if you're just by medic. Use the locust bar, is really good for the 50% more health. I'm sorry if you hear noises in the background. The conscious objector. Just anyone. Mini gun turtle for heavy. And the last set. 
This is a Tommy Slav. Tommy Slav is good for Fist of Steel because you pull the, it out. You don't have that long time. You don't want to pull down like Brass Beast. So you have Tommy Slav. Sorry, I have to end it so quick. There's just something happening right now. Thank you for watching. I'm Rabbi Sam. Goodbye.